Alright guys, welcome back. We have another question from chapter 4 of Beer and Johnson textbook and we have this slender rod AB with a weight of W which is attached to two blocks of A and B that can move free freely in the guides as we can see. Constant of this spring is K and the spring is on a stretch when theta is equal to zero. In the A part of the question, neglecting the weight of the blocks, uh, we need to derive an equation in W, K, and L. And theta, that must be satisfied when the rod is in equilibrium, so we are in equilibrium. And in the B part, we need to determine the value of theta when the weight is 75 pounds and the length of the rod is 30 inches. And we also know the K is, or the spring constant is three pounds per inch. So as always, we're gonna start with the free by diagram of the slender rod. So let's call this a rod. So we have the weight in the middle. We have two normal forces at A and B. Again, we're going to neglect friction up between the block and the surfaces that we have. So no friction and only we only have normal force. Let's consider the force in the spring. So we know the force in the spring is equal to the constant time, the displacement of the spring. Well, which we will get to that later. And if we try to make a right triangle in here, and if we call this point D, and we also know this angle here, theta, and the length of the, the rod is L. So if the rod is L, we can find the two sides that we have in here. So this will be L cosine of theta, and here we will have L sine of theta. So now that we have this, we can start since we are in equilibrium, Sum of all forces equals zero and sum of all moments equals zero. But let's find the, the force of the spring first. So as I was saying, we have the constant times the displacement of the spring. So when the theta is zero, so let's call this our spring. And when the theta is zero, we will have this rod AB, which is L. And when we have the theta look something that is not zero the length of the if we want to show the, the displacement of this spring which is in horizontal direction we'll have as i mentioned in the previous part l cosine of theta so this will be our displacement for the spring which we called it x so if you want to find x so we have the constant times l minus L times cosine of theta which will be our X in here so if that's the case we have the force in the spring and our FS will be if we factor L we will have K L times 1 minus cosine of theta so now that we have the force we can go with our equilibrium equations looking at this uh, we have to pick a point that we can find the moment about and looking at this we'll see that it seems if we do the moment about point D, we can cancel out two of the unknowns in here, which is A and B, and we'll end up with the moment of the weight of the rod and FS. So if that's the case for the FS, we will have what we found in the previous step, uh, which was, so looking at this, we'll see that the moment of FS, first of all, is counterclockwise, so positive, and the force is KL times 1 minus cosine of theta, so that's F, and the distance that we have in here is this distance, which is what we have in here, or L sine of theta, and we have the moment of W, which is clockwise, so we have a negative sign, and the distance will be what we have in here, L cosine of theta divided by 2 since the weight is applying at the centroid so we know that this distance here is L cosine of theta and since it's a uniform rod the center of gravity would be exactly in the center or in the middle of the, the rod by the way uh, in the beginning we assume that the FS is to the left one quick way to come up with the correct direction is that so we know that w is always downward so it's going to make a clockwise moment that shows that our fs has to be counterclockwise in order to satisfy the equilibrium condition so that's why i consider it to the left but even if you consider it to the right you'll get a negative sign in here that will compensate for that uh, wrong assumption so let's see what we can get from here so what we found so far is that kl times 1 minus cosine of theta times l 
sine of theta is equal to we're just going to bring the the second expression to the right side of the equation so we'll be positive l cosine of theta divided by 2 we can cancel out one of the l's from each side by multiplying the two sides of equation by 1 over l and also we can divide each side by cosine of theta so if we do that on the left side we get a times 1 1 minus cosine of theta we have l sine of theta divided by cosine of theta which will be a tangent of theta and this side will have w divided by 2 and if we want to bring everything on the if we want to keep the theta on one side of the equation and the rest on the other side so we'll have 1 minus cosine of theta times tangent of theta equal to we have k and l that goes on the other side of the equation 2kl and that's it if we get back to the question so in the first part or in the a part we need to derive an equation based on wkl and theta which is what we have in here exactly so that would be the answer for the a part of the question b part is pretty straightforward we just need to have our w 75 pounds our l 30 inches and our k 3 pound per inch so let's just plug this number into our equation we have 1 minus cosine of theta times tangent of theta equal to w which is 75 2 times 3 times 30 we don't need to be worried about the units because they are all homogeneous based on pounds and inches so no worries about the units and on the left side we have tangent of theta minus tangent time cosine will be sine of theta and for solving this part we know our theta is between 0 and 90 degree and we can just solve this numerically by just maybe starting from the middle of this range let's consider theta 45 degrees and based on that go a little higher and lower and if we do that we can get our theta 49.7 degrees which would be the final answer for b part of the question there are ways to solve this question uh, to find this uh, angle but probably the fastest and best shot is just to go because we have an idea for the theta based on the figure we know it's something more than zero and less than 90 our best shot is to start with 45 see what we get for that and just play a little bit higher than 45 and less than 45 and get to that answer which will be a little bit higher than 45 and that would be all for this question uh, you guys please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friends that might find this helpful and they are taking this course this semester or next semester. Um, it's going to help us to grow the channel faster and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video.